<clears throat> All right, guys, welcome to another video. As you know, I'm Henry Aaron Westbrooks. And what we're going to talk about in this video are seven big things that turn women off. Okay, guys, right now, you might have a woman in your life that you're low key turning off or high key turning off, right? And she low key or high key is desperately wanting you to stop these behaviors and she wants you to stop doing these things. Maybe you lost a woman or a girlfriend because you were doing or fell under one of these seven things or all of them or one of the few or a few of them. It doesn't matter. The case and point here is that there are seven big things that you're doing that are term turning women off and you gotta stop it. You gotta cut them out of your lifestyle and you may or may not even know it. So I'm here to help you out. Real quick, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and tap the like button at any time throughout the video, especially because it helps with the YouTube algorithm and growing my channel. So thanks so much everybody who does so support. Follow me on all my social medias and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, without any further ado, let's get into seven big reasons, seven big things that turn women off, okay guys? The first thing that turns women off is you having a dirty bed, okay? A dirty bed, a disorganized bed, sheets that are flimsy and stained, pillows that are flat like pancakes, have no poof, you know, and they have no fluff to them. All these things are turning women off, guys. If you have a bed and you don't have more than one pillow, that's a problem. If your bed is on the floor, like if your mattress is on the floor, that is a problem, guys. That's gonna turn her off right away, okay? So if you got a hot day and you wanna bring your bed to your house and get her in your bedroom, make sure that your bed looks good, you've got clean sheets, you've got an adequate amount of pillows, and you've got enough room for you to, to have fun on that bed, right? So keep that in mind. <clears throat> that's the first thing. The second thing is being cheap, guys, okay? So if you ask a girl out on a date, don't ask her to pay for the bill or go half on anything, right? It's your idea, it was your idea. You pay for it, you be the man. You take full responsibility, okay? If you're doing things like going to a party with her and you, know, you guys are bringing like wine and then you take the leftover wine home, that's fucking cheap and you look like a schmuck, you look like a douchebag. Don't do anything like that. If you guys go out to dinner, you know, don't like limit her to the cheapest thing on the menu. You know what I mean? So being cheap makes you look frugal and makes you look weak and it makes you essentially unattractive to the woman, okay, guys? So keep that in mind. Now, the third thing that turns women off is wearing a torn up, raggedy looking belt, okay, guys? So your belt game is important, whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not. A lot of you guys are not walking around with holes that are ripped and torn apart, distressed belts looking all wrinkled and losing fabric off the sides, and it's like horrible for your swag, man. I'm telling you right now. If she's looking at you and she's putting her hands on you, and the next thing you know, she's putting her hands on your belt, or even before that, if she sees your belt like that, right away, man, it shows that you're not taking your look serious. It shows that you're not a high level, a high status guy. It shows that you don't really take pride in your appearance. So have a nice looking belt, okay? Especially if you're tucking your shirt in, guys, because trust me, women notice that stuff, all right? <clears throat> next thing, guys, fourth thing that you're essentially doing wrong, right? That fourth thing that you're doing that's turning women off is just having a bad or overpowering scent, right? So that could be your body odor, that can be your breath, right? Or that can just be like the amount of cologne that you're putting on, right? You gotta have everything kind of discreet, subtle, in moderation and, and, and nice and fresh and cleanly, okay? You don't wanna smell musty, you don't wanna smell shitty, you don't wanna smell like fucking body odor, right? Same time, you don't wanna be like overpowering in cologne and fucking suffocating people like keep that in mind all right so that's simple guys just keep you know breath mints keep gum brush your teeth wear appropriate amounts of cologne you know and just practice good hygiene it's really not that difficult now <clears throat> the fifth thing that you're doing wrong that's essentially turning women off is focusing on yourself too much Right, so you're going out on a date and you're making yourself the focus, right? You're focusing too much on what it is you're doing, what it is you want to do, your goals, your ideas, your life, etc. Right? You're focusing too much on you, 
rather than asking her questions, getting her to open up and talk about herself, right? That should be the dynamic of your interaction with women. It should be you asking her questions, listening, and then responding according to her responses, asking her more questions and getting her to talk. Guys, women should be doing the majority of the talking, literally anywhere from 70 to 80% of the talking, whereas you should be only doing 20 to 30, period, okay? So if you catch yourself doing more talking than the woman, you need to calm that shit down. If you catch yourself talking about yourself a whole fuck ton, you need to cut that shit out because she doesn't want to hear you just talk about yourself for days on end, okay? It's a major turnoff. Just keep that in mind. Now, the sixth thing you're doing wrong that's turning women off is wearing ugly fucking shoes. Wearing shoes that are torn up, shoes that are busted, shoes that are out of style, shoes that scream, help me, right? Shoes that have people looking at you like, what are those? Guys, Invest in a good pair of shoes, a high quality pair of shoes, shoes that aren't gonna fucking scream, you don't give a fuck, right? Trust me, women look at your shoes and it matters. Like, it just matters, guys. It, it, what, the shoes that you put on your feet say a lot about the, the man that you are. It's almost like your car. Like, you gotta choose your shoes and your car wisely, I would say. All right, so just make sure your shoes are in good condition, okay? Um, and, and make sure they're up to date. Okay, so, and also, you know, make sure they're appropriate for whatever the fuck it is that you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be wearing shoes that don't fit the occasion, all right? Simple as that, guys, all right? Now, the seventh thing that you guys are doing while that's turning women off is essentially <clears throat> just being too open, you know? You got you got to just chill with all the fucking honesty and being so transparent and open about your family, your relationship status, like, beliefs, and, you know, your money uh just your past just stop being so open about everything okay women want mystery women want to have to discover you women want to have to figure things out right so if you're just sitting there and just fucking vomiting your whole life story on this girl or right? if you're just sitting there just rambling on about everything and you're an open book she's going to be turned off why because you're not mysterious you're killing the attraction you're talking too much about yourself and you leave nothing for her to wonder about okay so remember that women want to wonder about you. They want to wonder where you're at, what you're doing, who you're with. Are you thinking about them? Do you like them? And all of those things. And they want to have to figure things out about you slowly over time. Not all that fucking once. Okay, guys. So I hope this video helped you out. Make sure you hit that like button because, again, it really does help grow the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about future uh, topics we should talk about, guys. I'm going to ask you guys, you know, to respond to this question right now what's one thing that turns you off maybe you're a guy what's something that women do that turns you off ladies what's one thing that i didn't say that turns you off uh that guys do drop that response and that answer in the comments i would love to see what you guys have to say and make sure you go ahead and get your free stock from robin hood it's literally just a free app you just download it right now it's all right down here in the description get it on your phone you get a free stock like microsoft facebook apple uh, Google, whatever the case may be. I get a free stock. When you get a free stock, we both get a free stock. That's free money. Let's get these gains, okay? So make sure, again, you follow me on all my social media platforms. Check out the podcast, Health and Wealth, on Spotify and iTunes. And until the next video, stay happy, stay healthy, stay wealthy, stay blessed, and focus on success. Tap in.